Hi guys, good morning. I know I said I wasn't gonna be teaching anymore and I'm not, this is not me officially coming back. This is just me putting up workouts that I'm doing at home. I'm using it low key for accountability for myself because I've been struggling a little bit since Lola passed. But um, yeah, I also thought maybe it would help you to get some good ideas. Today I'm doing a little lower body. We're gonna do a warm up um, and then I'm basically just gonna go through the workout and put to put the text on screen so you guys can follow along, but I'm not gonna be like teaching. I know so many of you guys are like, I miss your workouts. So this is the only way I feel like I can put up workouts, keep my energy levels the same, but then also use it for myself for accountability. So we're gonna do about a five minute warm up, and then let me show you the exercises we're gonna do. The lower body today, so we're gonna do 15 um, front squats, 15 elevated lunges, 15 donkey kicks, 15 elevated lunges on the other side, and then same thing, donkey kicks on the left side. We're doing five rounds. I recommend going heavier here um, because it's lower body. If you don't um, have a step for elevated lunge, no worries, just do a right back lunge. Um, and for donkey kicks, you can weight your back leg. Um, I'm probably just gonna do one round where I do cue everything, but then after that, I'm gonna leave you guys on your own, okay? Okay, start with a little warm up. Bring your arms up, reach your arms up high, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, I say I don't wanna teach anymore. And I don't, but I can't help myself. <laughs> Keep your knees bent. Relax through your head and neck. I'm also like figuring all this out as I go. Like I'm like, how do I like show up authentically, preserve my energy, preserve my energy, but then also like, you know, allow for um, an easy like editing uploading process. These are all things I think about as I'm starting to do this again. So bear with me. Um, step back with your left leg, drop your left knee, and pulse. Because I really have missed teaching and. I really do know it helps so many of you guys and I want to teach. It's just my business takes so much energy from me. I also love doing other things that are not fitness related. Um, and yeah, I'm just like, I can't do it all. You know? Good. From here, come back to a half split. Pull your chest forward. I like to move my legs kind of side to side. So yeah, I guess we'll go through a warm up together. We'll go through the first round together and then after that you'll be on your own, okay? Come up to a low lunge, left hand down, right arm up. I kind of want to make my workout more of like a guide than a, like, oh, she's a full on trainer again, you know? Then step forward, drop your right knee, same thing. It's just been so hard to stay um, motivated since Lola passed. If you are new here and you don't know who Lola is, she was my dog for 17 years. I had her since I was 18. And she passed away last week, or I guess the week before last. And I've been through, going through it, girl. Half splits. Um, it's just been really hard for me to like get up and go. I've been running a lot because you don't really have to think when you run, you just like go, you know? But I'm like, all right, I need, to, I need to lift some weights. Good, low lunge, right hand down, left arm up for a twist. Good, gently step up, roll up to standing. Just some squats to get your hips Nice and ready. Squeeze at the top here. Pull your butt back. Make sure your knees aren't the ones bending forward. Good. Two more. Good. Grab your weights. I am going to use 15s for most of today's round. Uh, rounds. I might go a little heavier toward the end. Um, but yeah, lower body, you can always go a little bit heavier. If you're a beginner, start with fives, eights. Literally, if you're a super beginner, start with nothing. You could do all of this with zero weight. You'll get a great workout. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 
All right, 15 sprint squats. So grab your weights. If you don't have weights, you're just gonna cross your arms at your chest. You're gonna bring them horizontal just like this. Feet hips with distance, and you're gonna pull your belly in tight. Inhale when you lower. Exhale when you lift. 15, here we go. Go at your own pace. You can go faster, slower than me. Pause the video or forward, or rather skip it if you need to. Belly in tight. grabbed an eight pound weight for this. I'm going to put it behind my right knee. So we're just doing 15. I think for the second round, I'm going to put on some ankle weights as well. But here's what we're going to do. Left forearm down on the mat, right hand stays on the mat. So you're just going to create a nice sturdy um, foundation for your legs. So 15 of these, okay? Squeeze your butt at the top, belly in.
Yes. All right. So that is the workout, or rather the bucket. That's round one, and we have four more to go. I'm gonna stop talking. We're all gonna just work out together, keep each other company. At any point, you could go slower than me, faster than me, heavier than me, lighter than me. I'm probably gonna go heavier the last two rounds. I might take longer because of that. So again, you do what you need to do. Please watch your form and have a good workout.
dripping, oh my God. Let's stretch it out, do a little figure four. So yeah, I'm not really doing 45 minutes anymore. Um, I just do these little isolated upper body, full body, lower body workouts every other day. So I'll be posting every other day. For me, workouts have changed. I've been a trainer for so long, I was a yoga teacher for so long, and for me, like my philosophy on working out has just really changed. I just feel like the less I have to think, um, the more efficient I can be, the more workouts I can get to, um, that's the, the better. Like, I'm not really concerned on like having to work out super hard every day. Um, I think small bite sizes more often are better than like hardcore workouts, you know, five days a week and then the next week you're like super spent, you know? And what I also love about this little format is that it doesn't require um, a lot of thinking and you can kind of scale up and scale down depending on how you're feeling that day. So there are certain days, if I did this bucket with just eight pound weights or no weights, it would have just gotten me moving. I would have gotten a little sweaty, but for the most part it would have just been like, you know what, I just want to move today and just to get the blood going. Cause some days that's like all I have energy for. Or if you're feeling really good, you know, you could do what I did today and scale up and go a little bit heavier. If I wanted to go really hardcore, I could go heavy the whole time. It would take me longer, but I'm just all about movement. You know, however it comes, whatever you're feeling that day. I am done overachieving when it comes to fitness. <laughs> I truly just really do it for my mental health. Cause man, like it gets a little crazy up here. It gets a little, working out in the morning is like the only thing that kind of keeps my negative thoughts and all of that at bay. Whew. Stretch some more if you need to. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go into a little meditation. But thank you guys for joining me. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you let me know if you like this whole like no talking format. Um, I'm sorry the music sucks. I have to use licensed music on YouTube. <laughs> okay, bye guys.